Hey baby dolls, it's Brie and welcome back to my channel. So you guys today, yes girl, today I am here with a Bath and Body Works haul. So you guys, although SAS is done, I'm not done with it. So I'm going to be sharing some of the items that I actually picked up from um, Bath and Body Works Winter SAS. And I hope that you enjoy this haul just the same. So, um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. And what else did I want to share? Happy New Year! Um, on my community tab, I did say, you know, Happy New Year. Are we still allowed to say Happy New Year? Because it's about to be February, so I know I'm late. But I just wanted to say Happy New Year, like, in an actual video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but without further ado, let's get into it. Majority of these items are items that I had to wait to be marked down because it seemed like the committee was just like not budging like they kept that 50 percent off price tag on a lot of these items for a nice amount of time so i was protesting i'm like i'm anti 50 percent um i just wasn't going for it so thankfully they went ahead and marked the prices down but speaking of prices it is not fair to us as loyal customers to now have to pay three easy payments of $19.95 for a fine fragrance mist. It's too much. You do not have to keep marking this stuff up, especially when the quality is not always there, okay? So now if you add a little bit more oil or a little bit more fragrance or whatever, okay, that makes sense. But you can't put out something that smell like saline basically nothing and charge $18.95 for it. No, 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 no. In my humble opinion, committee, y'all getting a little bit too much dip on your chip. All right. Don't do us like that. Don't try to squeeze every penny out of us. I'm just the voice of the people. Anywho, let's get into this haul. So in no particular order, I'm just going to grab and go. Um, I went ahead and picked up brown sugar fig. So this one smells really, really nice. I didn't get the um, shower gel for this one, but I think that if you um, want an alternative, mm, that's nice. That's really nice. If you want an alternative for um, the Bath and Body Works brand shower gel, consider hauling Soap and Glories shower gel and it has fig in there as well i think it would go really well with this but the notes are going to be fresh fig coconut milk and caramelized brown sugar yes yes and yes i'll this probably be using a lot of these lotions along with like an oil so that i can you know really get the moisturization that i'm looking for you know what i'm saying so this next one oh my god like i almost like did a hundred cartwheels when I saw this was back in the store. So I did haul this not too long ago. I got the body cream and the fine fragrance mist, but I've been waiting for years for this one to come back. So I went ahead and picked up a backup in the blackberry and basil fine fragrance mist. This one is so good, you guys. So, so good. I love this. Oh my goodness. It's sweet. It's fruity. It just is everything. Oh my God. This smells so good. It smells so good. The notes are going to be fresh blackberry, pink pomelo, sweet basil, and jasmine petals. Fantastic. This gets a 1000 out of 10 for me. I love that. Um, This next one, you guys. Um, I actually really enjoyed this particular scent and I did haul the body cream in this like last go round. So I was looking for the fine fragrance mist because I want to say I use like a reward or something like that for the body cream. I can't even remember. But anyway, this is pink lily and bamboo. So I was excited to see this particular scent again. And this has notes of wild lily petal, bamboo leaf, pink ginger, fresh fig, and sauna wood. You guys, my eyes are getting kind of fuzzy. It's the end of the day. But anyway, this smells really, really nice. It's really pretty. It's really fresh. Oh, I love this. I love this. And it's floral. So you guys know I'm getting my life because 
I am a floral girl. So quick little story time. This actually was a tester, but my good sis at the store, she was like, you know what? You're in here all the time. So she peeled the try me off and I went ahead and I put it on the counter, bam. And I got pink lily and bamboo. So there it is. So I'm glad that I have that. It was meant to be. It was truly meant to be. <laughs> so I actually picked up um, more from the 90s collection. This next one is Pearberry. So you guys, this one is one that um, we all fell in love with. Remember back in the day, we didn't really have that many options as it related to what we could get from Bath and Body Works. This one just smells super fresh. That pear is coming through is so nice. The fragrance notes are gonna be on Jupiter, Wild Berries, Apple Blossom, Golden Freesia, and Blonde Woods. So picked up the lotion in this fragrance. So all of them have um, shea butter, coconut oil, vitamin E, and I know that they're pretty moisturizing, but I just normally gravitate toward body creams. I just really, really, really like body creams. So thankfully with this particular scent, I feel like this is more so for the summer. So I don't need anything too heavy and too thick. This next one, this is so nice. This is Sun Ripened Raspberry. You guys, the fragrance notes are gonna be Sun Ripened Raspberry, Strawberry Leaves, and Sugar Crystals. To me, you guys, this smells like straight up shampoo, like super, super fruity shampoo or like a nice body wash that you would use like during the summer months. To me, this just screams like outdoorsy type of stuff happening, you know? So maybe you and your friends are going to grab some wings and instead of sitting on the inside, you sit on the patio. You know, you wear a fragrance, but you don't want it to be too much, too heavy. You know, you just need something that's like season appropriate. So you splash this on. This screams like, you know, being outdoors, you know, going to the all white parties, you know what I'm saying? Like where everybody has on their white linen outfits and stuff like that. And you're doing your line dances on the boat, you know, cause all the frats and the, you know, they're having their boat parties and stuff like that in the summer. So yeah, I like this. This is super, super nice. This is like, what I would wear to like an outdoor concert. You know what I'm saying? So to me, again, this just screams summer. So I had to get it. And again, this is one that um, folks fell in love with when they first started discovering Bath and Body Works. So I really like that they brought, you know, some of the 90s um, fragrances back out. I did not pick up the Cucumber Melon, cause girl, they bring that back every 2.5 seconds. So we don't even get a chance to miss Cucumber Melon because it's always there, you know? Um, but yeah, I didn't pick up that or the Sea Island Cotton or the Sea Island Shore, whatever they changed the name to because I got um, a lotion and I also have a fine fragrance mist that I need to get through. So I'm like, I don't need that. But anyway, I got the Sun Ripened Raspberry in the Body Lotion as well. So there's that. I don't normally gravitate toward like the Twisted Peppermint um, scent, but I went ahead and picked up this Concentrated Room Spray. Hope you guys can see that. So there it is. Um, it's still really, really cold here. It hasn't been snowing too much lately, but I don't know, I figured maybe one day I wanted to smell minty. So if I do, then I'll just spray this in the air, okay? I was able to pick up this pumpkin pecan waffles concentrated room spray. So everybody loves this one. So I don't need to spend too much time on that. Actually, let me spray this right now. Ooh, that's so good. That one just smells so delicious. So the next item I picked up was an antibacterial hand spray in the scent Poppy. So you guys know I absolutely adore Poppy. So I have Poppy now in the perfume. I have it in a body butter. I have it in a lotion, a shower gel, fine fragrance mist. Um, clearly I love Poppy. I went ahead and used one of my rewards for a um, pocket back keychain. 
So this normally retails for $9.95, but because it's purple and it's a butterfly, I'm like, I gotta get it. So look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness, I love this. And I wanna say the butterflies light up. Yeah, they light up. So you can't really see it because my ring light is on. But anyway, um, it came with an actual pocket back on the inside. Like, how do you get it out of here? Here we go. Oh. Y'all, I got a problem. I'm about to email corporate. Because why would y'all put a bourbon pocket back and a doggone butterfly keychain? It doesn't smell too bad, but I'm going to swap it out with maybe another one that... um. I haul. So that's the perfect segue into the rest of the pocket bags that I picked up. Quite honestly, I don't know why I got this many pocket bags. Like I just went bananas up at the register. Um, well, while I was in line, I mean, you don't have anything else to do but look through stuff. So this next one is going to be Frozen Lake. Hope you guys can see that. There we go. This is my new fave. This is Dream Bright. I picked up Ice Dragon Fruit Tea. And I've had a couple of um, pocket bags in this particular scent. So it's nice. I really do like this one. And I want to say I got this in a foaming hand soap. So glad to have that in my collection. I also picked up this Toasted Vanilla Chai pocket bag. And it has like the moisturizing beads, so that's good. Cause sometimes, you know, hand sanitizers can dry your hands out and I don't need my skin cracking and peeling just cause I'm trying to sanitize, you know what I'm saying? So because I love this next one, I had to go ahead and get this in um, a pocket bag. This is blackberry and basil. I also picked up this mahogany coconut pocket bag. Focus, focus. There we go. And I picked up Sweet Mint and Rain. So there's that. And last but not least, I picked up this Midnight Amber Glow Perfume Spray. So did I actually need this? No, but I got it anyway. And to be honest, like, I wasn't like a huge fan. I hope that focuses for you guys. To be honest, I wasn't like a super huge fan of Midnight Amber Glow. I, I thought it smelled okay, but I wasn't losing my mind over it. But I've grown to like it a little bit more. And plus, it was 75% off, so of course I had to stag it. I only spent $36.58 for this haul. You guys, in total, for my SAS budget, I wasn't even remotely close to going over it, like whatsoever. So I did extremely good. I'm really proud of myself. I didn't overbuy. Um, I didn't get any perfumes this go round, but it's okay because again, I got a lot to get through. So that will complete my haul. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, XO. Bye, baby dolls.